I'm Dr. Kim Logan Nolan, and welcome to Live to Be Well. Tonight, let's talk about the spirit of entitlement. What is it? The definition states the fact of having a right to do something. To do something. It's my prerogative to treat you any kind of way or to pay my way in a position that I didn't earn. Earning a degree that I paid for, not through tuition, but through a payoff. Is it right for us to pay for our children to earn a degree or a seat in a university that they did not earn? Is it right for me to take a position or treat people less than because I am the pastor or the first lady or even a principal, an educator, supervisor, or even in the White House? What are some of the red flags of entitlement? Haughty spirit, arrogance, when people are treated in such a way, high-mindedness, that I'm better than you. Why do you feel that you should be uh, anywhere near me? Or jealousy, people who are in an attitude that, you know, uh, uh, that you're less than me. We are not less than anyone else. We're, no one is beneath us. We are God's children. We are filthy rats saved by grace. And we must learn to treat people with kindness, respect, and humility. The Bible says, if I be lifted up, I will draw men unto thee. God said he will set you before kings and queens. But God can lift you up and God can bring you down. Don't ever allow yourself to be in a place where you are haughty, arrogant, high-minded, or jealous of someone else's position, especially if they earned it and they worked hard for it. I'm not talking about enabling someone and allowing someone or even co-signing someone's bad behavior. Co-signing bad behavior is a silent, destructive act that can tear apart the fragment of a relationship, healthy family structure, reputation, or cooperative business partnership. Don't pick up the pen. My new book, co-signing bad behavior. We must not allow people to put us in a position where we are led by them to do something wrong or influenced by them to do something wrong. We must allow ourselves to stand up for what is right by God and mankind. I want to share something with you in my book, The Attitude Adjustment on page 33. And I really like this analogy. When you are building a bridge, it's important to have all your tools on your bridge or it will collapse. Foundation, Jesus Christ. Blueprint is prayer. Concrete is faith. Sledgehammer, the word of God. Boats, love. Mortar, your relationship with God. Water, the Holy Spirit. Believe in yourself. Prepare all necessary tools to accomplish goals and objectives. Choose positive associates and positive contacts. Trust God in your decision and be prepared to move to the next level of your success. Be careful who you associate with. Guilty by association. Be very careful. And remember that God has a purpose and plan for your life that you do not have to have an entitlement spirit to earn. He paid the price when he sent Jesus to Calvary. He paid the price. So all we have to do is obey God. Be faithful to him. Be faithful and honest to mankind. Treat people the way we want to be treated. And help people be encouraged. Help people to love themselves by the way you treat them. Speak to people when you get on the elevator. You know, I don't have to speak to people. You know, you know who are they? That's that entitlement spirit. Cutting someone off in the freeway because I'm entitled to get that space. That's an entitlement spirit. You know, my daughter should have the part in that play. Do you know who I am? I poured a half a million dollars into this university. Entitlement spirit. And then we are teaching our children that same spirit. And the blood will be on our hands for that. So let's make a decision today to have a better spirit, a better attitude, an attitude adjustment to do away with an entitlement spirit. You can't love God and love yourself.
at the same time in an entitlement spirit manner. God wants us to love. He said, love thy neighbor as thyself, but it must be done through him. Please visit my website at www.drkimmonsfires.com or call me at 313-664-4900. If I can be a blessing to you and come out and speak to your church organization, I will be more than happy to come out. And let us remember that we all are here to serve mankind. And most of all, to serve God. And there's no room for an entitlement spirit. God bless.